This knot is for Zipli Zane, who asked about the best knot for single loop sweatpants. Here's the beauty of this knot. You only have to tie it once. It's lower profile than your traditional bunny ear method. And to pull in the tension, you simply hold the knot. You'll pull the right side of the loop. You can tighten it as much as you want and it'll stay tight. So here's a close-up of the knot. I already tied into my sweatpants. You can see my four little coils going around. There's where it exits out, and then here is the loop at the other side. I can already try to pull in some slack. It's not gonna come out if I just pull it laterally. Let's tighten up my sweatpants. Here we go. Tighten, 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 tighten. Still stays tight. Let's loosen up the sweatpants. And still stays tight. Good. I'm using quarter inch Paramax for the demonstration. Take your cord and wrap it around your finger. One, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna take the end I'm working with, I'm gonna go over the top and I'm gonna come out with a bite on this side. Now I'm gonna put it against my thumb and touch it to my index finger. And I'm just gonna pull all the coils that I just made onto that bite, okay? Now let's flip this around here. Here it is, loosely packed. Let's tighten it all up. Now it takes a little bit of adjusting to get this knot set into place, but once you get it set, it's done and you don't have to tie it again. So the idea with this knot is I can pull in my tension, tightening my sweatpants, but when it pulls laterally against my waist, it locks up and it doesn't move. Now, if I want to loose my sweats, I simply pull the cord back through this barrel of turns and I'm able to take the sweats off again. This is quarter inch Paramax, so it's not going to act exactly like the pull string that we get with our sweats. This actually clamps down pretty well as you pull it tight. Now, Paramax is pretty stable as far as how it's designed. So when you're practicing, if you do get some slip, there we go. Keep in mind that you need to make sure that all these turns are very tight. This end here, you need to make sure that it is pulled tight as well. There we go. And the amount of force that it takes to make this slip, even in Paramax, isn't going to be as much as you need to keep your sweats up. There we go. All right, here's that first person point of view. Since the string is attached at the back, we want to pull our left side all the way over as much as we can. So you all keep pulling, keep pulling. Once I bottom out, that is when I'm going to start tying my knot. So I just have to adjust these sweats off to the side. There we go. Kind of awkward there to begin with, but it'll work out. I'll pinch it with my thumb and middle finger, and now I'll do my wraps. Two, three, four. Take this working end here, and I'll go around that standing portion. Now I'll touch my fingers together with this little loop that I have and my thumb, and I'll just pull all the coils on top so that I can slip that loop through okay there it is and I'm gonna pull it tight now you see my four coils here this one here has a lot of slack in it so we're gonna work them one by one again you're not gonna do this every time this is a one-time knot once you have it set you're just gonna leave it alone okay, there we go pull that tight and then I'll pull the ends that make it uh, collapse on itself. Still have a little bit of looseness there. Let's pull that out. There we go. And remember the idea with this knot is once you set it, as you pull laterally, it doesn't want to loosen up, but it still allows you to pull your cord through and adjust the tightness of your sweats. See? Okay. So now I'll let go. Let's get this centered back up. Here's our long loop here. Okay, this is all the stuff we want to pull out. Right? That's where we're gonna put in our tension. There we go, let's pull that, there we go. Okay, so here's my knot. You can see my coils going down. I have my loop here. Now the left side is gonna be a little snugger than the right. The right side is where I'm gonna pull in my tension. And when I want to do that, I'm going to simply take my right hand side and I'm going to hold the knot and I'm going to pull in all the tension that I want. There we go. I'll make it tighter, tighter, tighter. Okay, you can see it's pretty snug. Now, if you have an emergency, no need to grab for the scissors. Simply grab both cords. You're going to pull until you expose that little triangle there. Get your finger in, pinch the knot, and pull. 
There we go. Now we can pull out as much as we need to so that we can get our sweats off. Now be careful not to make the same mistake I did in the demonstration. I initially pulled it way too tight, so when it came time to release it, I had to use extra force. And that caused a small rip in the opening for the drawstring. 